Yes, indeed. Welcome back to BYC Gaming, bringing you classic gaming as we bring you another episode of The Lions Look Forward. This is episode number five. We move right along to the playoffs in week 17. We decided to rest our starters and we took a loss against the Washington Redskins. But nonetheless, as you can see, we have locked up the top seed in the NFC, giving us home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Leading up to what we hope is a Super Bowl against the team you see right there that has a matchup against the Colts, the New England Patriots. They've also got the Chiefs and the Browns playing out in the AFC. And on the NFC side, we got the Saints and the Cardinals. And of course, our marquee matchup, the Detroit Lions against the Chicago Bears. So we got Trevor Lawrence going up against Justin Herbert, two tall quarterbacks who have a tall task ahead of them. Let's pass it up to Jonathan Coachman. On EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears, and the Detroit Lions. With that, let's head inside the Ford Field in Detroit. We're standing by are the two men who will bring you this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. This Lion fan base, Coach, they have been craving home playoff football since this building opened in 2002, and they've got it today at Ford Field in Detroit. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Okay, so we got a quick, quick glance at the playoff picture. As you saw, the NFC has a lot of strong talent. Ezekiel Elliott and the Cardinals out there battling against New Orleans. We're taking on Chicago, and here we go. Let's see who's going to represent the NFC in the title game next week. We're hoping it's not this guy, the Clemson product, Trevor Lawrence, who got off to a solid start to his career. I mean, man, look at those numbers. Very solid for a young QB. This team also has Joe Burrow, which is very interesting. But let's go ahead and move ahead to the first drive. Tariq Cohen. All right, he's already proven off the rip he's going to be a problem. What a beautiful run up the gut for the first down to start things off for Chicago. Let's look at this one more time, man. This is going to be a key matchup you're going to see right here. Jaden Woodby versus Tariq Cohen. It's going to be... A matchup that's gonna play a lot of a lot of dividends in this game. As let's look, go ahead and look at the Chicago Bears uh, offense. See they got Zach Shackelford at the center, my man Allen Robinson at wide receiver, Tariq Cohen, who we just saw in the last play making moves. Let's move ahead, second and five. Trevor Lawrence making a beautiful pass to Josh Reynolds, somebody I'm very familiar with from a previous season with the Rams, and he takes it to the house for six. And just like that, the Chicago Bears. Silence the crowd, take some air out of their building as they're up to a 7 0 lead after the first drive. Justin Herbert comes out. You see that 4,000 yard season. Not as many touchdowns as you would want from somebody like Justin Herbert, who has so many weapons on this team. But we are a very run oriented squad, so you can kind of understand that. Speaking of the run, it's a handoff to Saquon Barkley. One move and he's headed to the house. He's making it look easy, man. And I'm telling you, man, this, this team is ready for any task. You want to put us down seven early on in the game? Don't worry. We won't break a sweat. We'll make one move and bang. Just like that, we're back in the game as you see Saquon Barkley taking it to the house for six. It's another match that's going to be very important. Eddie Jackson, one of the best safeties in football, going up against people like Saquon Barkley, Kenny Galladay. And speaking of certain people, let's talk about this defense, a unit that's definitely going to have to step up against a very, very underrated Chicago Bears offense. You see 
Tracy Walker, Jaden Lars would be out there. As you see a little pack pass onto the flats to Tariq Cohen. Great tackle by Blake Martinez, longtime NFC North linebacker. Here we go, third and 11 now. Trevor Lawrence drop backs to pass. Throws it over the middle. Big hit. What a shot as Tracy Walker recovers. Jaden Lars would be putting a shot on 84 right there. You see he laid that one up there. Trevor Lawrence set his receiver up, man, because you, you throw one up there like that over the middle, we're going to let you know about it. It's here you see once again the strong safety, Lars would be with a shot that leads to a turnover is now. Saquon, Justin Herbert, and the Detroit Lions offense comes back onto the field after the big takeaway. Here's a play action here on second down. A bomb is thrown to the end zone. And, you know, I was hoping that the ball went out of bounds and he did make that catch, but that's an incredible catch by the Chicago Bears safety. As you'll get another look at it, Justin Herbert being overly aggressive, trying to get that ball into the end zone. He forces this pass. And as you can see, very tough to keep your feet inbound in the back of the end zone. But nonetheless, this kid makes it happen as Tart makes a wonderful catch. Like I said, I wish I had a better angle so I could see if that was officially an interception. But nonetheless, it leads to a Chicago Bears drive. Third down here. Trevor Lawrence steps back to pass. We get a takeaway of our own as Blake Martinez scouting over the middle makes a great pick. His first of the game. Big, big turnover as now we're in the red zone at, on Chicago's 22-yard line after the big play by the former Green Bay Packer. Let's take a look at it one more time. Trevor Lawrence doing the same thing that Justin Herbert did, forcing a pass, and it leads to a big turnover for our Lions defense. Let's get it. So you see Justin Herbert back out on the field. He's got that pick. He needs to bounce back from that on the last drive. Let's see what he does. Play action here. He's scrambling around. He's thinking about passing, but he takes a slide and picks up nine. A little further in the drive, second and goal. And it's who else but Saquon Barkley. I'm telling you, man, when you got a 99 running back, why not use him, man? This dude has been cooking for us ever since he came over from the Giants. And that leads to a score. It's now 14 to 7 with the Bears coming back onto the field. Another pass over the middle, 84. Very reliable receiver for Trevor Lawrence. He gets a big first down there. His third reception of the game. We move ahead in the drive. Sec excuse me, in the drive. Second down. Another big first down. They're making a lot of quick passes, so we got to adjust. Maybe run some cover two or something. Nonetheless, it's first down. We get another handoff to Mr. Tariq Cohen. Or excuse me, that's actually somebody else in the backfield for Chicago. Not sure his name. We'll figure that out as the game goes on. But nonetheless, we need to figure out how to stop these guys. Because they are moving the ball. And all of a sudden, it's a touchdown. And it's a tie game after a quick hitter on third and goal. Trevor Lawrence hitting number 84 once again for a big score. And we got a tie game. We got a war on our hands. You know, it couldn't have been a tougher game for us coming into the divisional round as Chicago was very familiar with the way that we play as you see a first down for Kenny Galladay there as he runs out of bounds picking up the first Justin Herbert making it look easy out there but nonetheless our defense has to step up and get some stops as we move along in the drafts in the drive, I don't know why I keep saying draft in the drive there must be a draft in the air because you see whoop He's breaking through him like the wind. Saquon Barkley with another touchdown. On second and six, he takes one move, and he's going straight to the house, man. Saquon Barkley making it look easy, man. He's completing these drives just by himself. Another touchdown for the Penn State product. And then you see Blake Martinez trying to hype up the defense as he knows the offense came to play. Now you guys got to step it up. Trevor Lawrence now on the next Chicago Bears drive, handing it off to Tariq Cohen. A beautiful rush. You see he has nine rushes for 64 yards at this point. Another handoff to Cohen. He's making moves up the middle and picks up another first down. 
So if anybody's matching the productivity of Saquon Barkley, it's that guy right there, Tariq Cohen. As you see, he gets another handoff. Very crafty move, and he picks up his third first down of the drive. Another handoff for Chicago here on second and four to the fullback. They can't get in. Now it's third down and three. Tariq Cohen gets another handoff, but once again, stuffed in the backfield. Great job by this Detroit Lions defense, Max Clemens. One of our unsung heroes on the defense makes a big play to prevent Chicago from getting a touchdown right here. Now, you wonder, would they go for it? They're about four or five yards out. More than likely, if that was me, I got to take the field goal right there. You got to take the points, especially when the other offense on the other side of the field is putting up points like that. And that's exactly what they did. Let's move ahead to my drive. Third and ten. We make a... Huge pass over the middle, but a flag is on the play. Pass interference. Big call for us as TJ Hawkinson draws the flag. We got another pass over the middle to Kenny Galladay right here. That leads to a first down. Hasn't been much of a game through the air so far for the Lions, but nonetheless, we need two. We get two, excuse me, we get two big plays right there, and that leads to a first down. A third big pass on third down to TJ Hawkinson, and it leads to a touchdown. And look at that. It's a 27-17 game as the Lions celebrate in the end zone. A little hot potato. I mean, despite the fact that our defense has given up a lot of points here in the first half, our offense has pretty much been unstoppable on the other side of the ball as we would get the ball so again, but we would let the half NFC begin. So we divisional round matchup as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this divisional round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's NFC divisional round game. And it's the Arizona Cardinals who are not done yet as they were able to eliminate the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon Gunn. So as you saw, if I'm able to hold on to this lead, we will be playing the Arizona Cardinals in Detroit as they beat New Orleans 24-10. So it's looking like the Cardinals will be coming to Detroit, but we have to finish work here in Detroit. Speaking of work, TJ Hawkinson putting it in. First downs. Now you see this passing game is starting to click on all cylinders, right? TJ Hawkinson is in the zone now. Let's see what we can do on this drive. See if we can close the door on Chicago Super Bowl hopes. Here you see Justin Herbert under center. Calls for motion. Looking to throw on second down. Little play action. He makes the pass to Kenny Galladay, and you know what time it is. He's diving in the end zone for six. Touchdown is good in my hood. As you can see, the score is getting a little bit wider as far as the margin is concerned. The passing game is starting to click. You see Saquon Barkley already has multiple touchdowns on the day. We just got to get our defense to step it up and lock things up as you look at Kenny get in from the pylon cam. And it's a 35 to 17 game at this point. We're looking forward. We're trying not to. We're trying not to, but we're, we're starting to think about Arizona. We're starting to think about Ezekiel Elliott and the Cardinals. Here's Trevor Lawrence throwing a bomb downfield. And this is why we cannot fall asleep yet. What an amazing catch by Allen Robinson. You've got to give credit where credit is due. He's covered by... I'm not even sure who's on him, but oh my goodness, what a grab. Just, just basically snatches it out of the air. Great bullet pass by Trevor Lawrence as that led to a first down. This is now third down. They try to go to him again, but that ball is swatted by big play Darius Slay. They go for the field goal here from the distance, and it's no good. Big miss, and they walk away with another empty drive. Let's move forward to our drive. We're throwing it down deep, and what a grab by Kenny Galladay with plenty of bears in the vicinity, man. First down, first and goal. Detroit is, is definitely looking like they are on a mission to get back to that Super Bowl and win it. Great catch by Kenny Galladay in traffic. There you see Eddie Jackson getting there a little late making the tackle. But nonetheless, we're pushing, we're pushing in the second and goal right here. And then, just as I was saying all of that, 
A great tip drill play by Eddie Jackson, and he's running it nearly 80 yards the other way to the house. Just like that, you get so confident, you start getting a little cocky, and one mistake changes things up just like that. As Eddie Jackson makes a great play, let's take another look at it. We were trying to get the ball to TJ Hawkinson there. Eddie makes a great deflection, keeps the ball in play, maneuvers through some traffic at the line of scrimmage and takes it all the way, all the way to the house. Very long run from him. I mean, that one hurts, but we still got a decent lead. We still got a two possession lead. Let's see if we can make sure to go ahead and close that door and close any hopes of Chicago coming back to win this game because the momentum is starting to swing. As here you see a big tackle in the backfield on my boy J.K. Dobbins, and now we're starting to get worried. Starting to run into Khalil Mack a little too much now. What a move from Saquon Barkley as he clears some space, gets the first down after that play by Mack in the backfield. It's now Justin Herbert. Gives a handoff to Saquon Barkley up the middle. He's got 157 rushing yards at this point. It's the fourth quarter. We're trying to run that clock down. As there you see a pass to TJ Hawkinson over the middle. Another first down. 35 to 24 at this point. We're still running that clock down. You see it's starting to move somewhat, but we still got more work to do. We're getting close to that red zone. And boom. What? A shot. Let me tell you something, man. A big shot by the linebacker Smith. Mack picks it up, and all of a sudden, it's Chicago ball. Now, they're pushing it. They're hoping for a chance to make this game even closer than what it already is. But the third down defense shows up. Another stop. They have to go for it in this situation. Lawrence drops back the throw. Great pass, but he cannot hold on. It's incomplete, and the ball is going the other way. The Bears cannot convert on fourth down. Let's take another look at that because it was very close. Almost a big first down play there, but nonetheless, it is going the other way. As we take a look at the replay, Lawrence finds a pocket for the receiver to catch it, but he just can't hold on. Too much defense in the area. Allen Robinson tried to hold on. Great job by him. Great effort. But nonetheless, it is Lions ball. The defense, though, not really hearing that. They still want to give their offense another chance to come out here and score and make this a game. Herbert drops back the pass. He throws it in the end zone. Oh, almost a chance for a touchdown. Then it nearly was intercepted. Nonetheless, it's an incomplete pass. Lions go for the field goal. Josh Lambeau comes out, knocks in three. It's now a 38 to 24 game. Two minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. So time is running very low for Chicago. Well, we'll see what happens in the next plays on the next drive. First down for Trevor Lawrence. He's on the 46 after a nice couple of plays. He drops back the pass. Nearly had a man deep, but he probably threw that ball a little too hard. Tracy Walker was able to swat it. Here's a play action on third down. He tries to make another tough pass to Allen Robinson. He's unable to hold on to it. It's now fourth and 13. And this is pretty much the last chance for Chicago to even have any hopes of any type of season right here. Fourth and 13 now. Lawrence drops back the pass. He's looking for a man, and he's got him. Reynolds open wide open over the middle. And now, all of a sudden, the Bears nearly get in on this great pass in number 15. Lawrence is pushing that rock. 46 seconds left on the clock. They go for a play action, a touchdown at the back of the end zone. All of a sudden, everybody can't celebrate. The fat lady didn't start singing yet. It's here we get a booth review just to confirm that that was a touchdown indeed. The call is upheld. And now, Chicago, after a non-play drive, they take the ball all the way down the field, and it's a one-possession game. Chicago is right back in it with a chance. But as you can see, their timeouts are low. I hand it off to my fullback on second down, and he gets a big first down. Their last timeout is used, and that is pretty much all she wrote, folks. The Detroit Lions are set to move ahead to play the Arizona Cardinals for the NFC Championship at Ford Field. That is coming to you in episode number six. Big win for Detroit. Man.
And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, big win for the Detroit Lions, as you can see. Big day for Saquon Barkley, 155 yards on the ground. Big day for Kenny Galladay. Solid game for Justin Herbert. Just got to cut down on the turnovers because next week we're playing another high-power offense. Kyler Murray, Ezekiel Elliott, and the Arizona Cardinals is definitely going to be an interesting one. I need all of you to tune in for that. If you don't know, you can follow us on Instagram at Bringing You Classics. You can check out our Twitch where we play a lot of games live, whether it's Call of Duty, Madden, UFC 4, and many others. BYC Gaming on Twitch. That's BYC underscore gaming on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter at BYC underscore world. And I go by the name of Biz Biller. This has been another episode of BYC Gaming. The Lions look forward. Like, subscribe, and comment as we leave you with the statistics as we get ready for the conference championship.